Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is yet another Thursday evening approaching the midnight hour, and I'm so grateful that God has yet allowed another opportunity to come share prayer. And I will start with scripture, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, by grace you have been saved through your faith. Father God, we thank you for being so faithful. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for yet another day that we can come and share prayer. We thank you for your precious son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all of our sins and rose with all power. We thank you for the Holy Spirit and invite the Holy Spirit in this prayer, Father God. And we ask that you pardon us from our sins, those we committed intentionally or unintentionally in thought and or in deed even the things that we failed to do that we were stubborn about father god please forgive us your word says when two or more gather in your name that you be in the midst and father god i just thank you for the prayer partners who touch and agree with me minister allen of god's house of prayer and the morning prayer group Elder Allen, um, Second Baptist Church of Ann Arbor, their Wednesday a.m. seven um, Wednesday seven a.m. prayer call. My home church, Cater's Baptist Church, their daily six p.m. prayer call, as well as the Morning Glory Group, Shape Group, Allen Family, as well as Kingdom of Grace out of Massachusetts. So, Father God, thank you for my prayer partners who touch and agree with me that we share prayer, we share inspirationals. Thank you for the platform of LinkedIn. YouTube, which also shares prayer. Father God, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We thank you for being so faithful. We pray for the bereaved heart, the broken heart, Father God. We pray for those um, who need a touch mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually. We know that there's nothing too hard for you, Father God, and that we can cast all our cares upon you because your word says we can, Father God. We know that your word also said that chains was broken, walls was broken in the midnight hour, Father God. Your word says that we can cry out to you in the midnight hour. Your word says that we can pray to you with, um, without ceasing, Father God. And we thank you that we have access to pray to you 24-7, Father God, 365 days a year. And we just thank you for that, Father God. We pray for the military who's away from their family, who's keeping peace. We pray for the law enforcement, medical personnel, first responders, those in the travel industry, Father God, those out working and serving your people, Father God. We pray that they don't grow weary, Father God, and the storm is going through right now, especially in Michigan and the Midwest snow, Father God, and we pray for those who are unsheltered. We pray for those who are displaced. We pray for those who will not be spending um, um, the holiday with loved ones, Father God. And we just ask that you be the company keeper, that you be the comforter, that you be the physician, that you be the hand holder, that you send a sweet song, that you send a sweet aroma, Father God. We just calling out to you to just do only what you can do, Father God. And um, on the prayer focus list, Miss um, Crystal and Legacy Studio did an amazing job at the Motown Nutcracker, and we just bless your holy name for that. And Father God, I thank you for um, just being so good, so grateful, so, so, so faithful to us, Father God. We bless your holy name. We pray for those who have suffered from violence, Father God, and the senseless gun violence that's continuing to play, Father God. We just ask for peace during this time, Father God. We pray for those who are um, having loved ones who are missing this time, Father God. We pray for revelation uh, that you will comfort the families, Father God. We pray for those who have a bereaved heart or a broken heart this Christmas, that it will be the first Christmas without a loved one, Father God. Please be that light. Please bring warmth. Please bring peace only as you can, Father God. 
and we celebrate with those who are having the first Christmas with a new baby or, or marriage or an extended or blended family, Father God. We celebrate that and we thank you for that, Father God. And we know that everyone may have a different experience this holiday season, Father God of Christmas, of Hanukkah, of Kwanzaa. But Father God, no matter what the day is or the season is, you are God of everything and we trust you and we thank you again that we can come to you, that we have access to come to you and pray, Father God. And um, if there's anything I left out, Father God, please um, forgive me and you know the prayers that we pray in the morning and in the afternoon and in the midday and even in the evening, Father God. So I thank you for my senior pastor, Greg Foster um, II, again of Cajun Baptist Church of Detroit. I pray for every um, pastor, every church leader that's doing kingdom building, Father God strengthen them so that they will not grow weary. I know that it's a lot of work, Father God. I see what so many are going through, Father God. But again, we know that you can. We just ask that you will continue to pour into them, Father God. And during this season, Father God, I, I want to share a poem and I pray that it blesses someone. I pray that you um, will anoint this poem that for those who hear it, that they will be touched and blessed, Father God. I still hear the songs. I still see the lights. I still feel your love on cold, wintry nights. I still share your hopes and all of your cares. I'll even remind you to please say your prayers. I just want to tell you, you still make me proud. You stand head and shoulders above all the crowd. Keep trying each moment to stay in his grace. I came here before you to help set your place. You don't have to be perfect all of the time. He forgives you the slips if you continue the climb. To my family and friends, please be thankful today. I'm still close beside you. In a new special way. I love you all dearly. Now don't shed a tear. Because I'm spending my Christmas. With Jesus this year. Father God. This poem was written by John Mooney. And I pray. That someone. Will hear it. And be encouraged. And know. That you have a prepared place for us all. Father God. And that for believers. Your word says that those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That there is hope in this Christmas for some people knowing that they'll be with you, Father God. But we thank you for your presence and your love. And if I forgot anything, please forgive me. Peace, Merry Christmas, and blessings. In the name of Jesus, amen.